Hi, welcome to Earth and Flax Studio. Today we'll be working with a local historic preservation specialist on a full wood window restoration project. At Swift Current Co., Daniel Jacob works with Lindsay Oil products because they are safe to use, they nourish and protect wood surfaces, and they create long-lasting results with no more peeling acrylic paint. The goal here is to use compatible coatings that do not trap moisture and lead to rot and decay of what we're trying to preserve. The linseed oil products used in this video are Dana linseed oil putty, Viking linseed oil paint, and Viking purified raw linseed oil. You will also need shellac flakes, glazing pins, glazing hammer, stick mixer, orbital sander, the silent paint remover, and a putty knife. This sash has had the old paint removed with an infrared heater, the silent paint remover. Whichever method used to remove paint, be sure to wear a respirator. And please avoid all chemical strippers to keep you and the wood surface healthy and undamaged. Prepare your shellac flakes by dissolving the necessary amount in denatured alcohol 24 hours beforehand. See project video, How to Mix and Apply Shellac Flakes, for best practices on this step. This is a very important step, as the oil in the linseed oil putty will soak into the wood frame without this barrier, causing premature putty failure. Applying the shellac is a necessary step for long-lasting results. After the shellac has dried, trim or scrape away any excess that is outside the glazing grooves or rabbits for an even paint job later. You do not want to paint on top of shellac as it will cause flashing and appear a different luster. Apply Viking Purified Raw Linseed Oil to dry wood sash. Pay the most attention to the exterior side, top and bottom, and any end grain. When the oil begins to pool on the surface, that usually indicates that you are done. This will provide much needed protection from moisture and rot in the years to come. It is an option to heat for a few seconds with the silent paint remover to speed up the impregnation process. The heat thins the oil and quickly pushes it deep into the substrate. You may see it disappear into the wood as if the wood is a sponge. Wipe away any excess if needed with a clean rag or microfiber cloth. Let sit for 24 to 48 hours in ambient temperatures of 60 degrees or more. The Dana linseed oil putty is ready to use right out of the can and does not need excessive handling or mixing. Simply massage the amount needed until warm. Back bed glazing grooves or rabbits with Dana putty. Press into grooves. It is important not to trap air bubbles in or under the putty. A pressured gliding motion with a putty knife will lay in the putty evenly. It is better to have too much than not enough putty on this step. It is very similar to the consistency of a conventional modern putty, so great for those who are new to linseed oil putty. Clean glass. Glass can be soaked in Sodasun dish soap and warm water to remove old coatings or residue. 
may require careful use of sharp razor blade. Reinstall glass carefully by pressing down. Fingers spread wide to distribute the weight evenly. Another method shown here is using an orbital sander on a microfiber cloth to shimmy the glass down carefully. Be sure to keep track of where each pane of glass goes in your sash. Secure glass with glazing pins. Video shows using traditional copper pins, but any pins or glazier points will work. Tap in carefully. Traditional copper pins may need to be bent to one side if too long. Be sure to tap or install whatever you use as level as possible to avoid chipping or breaking the glass. Now apply glazing putty evenly in much the same way you did when back bedding. Again, avoid trapping air bubbles. Here is another method. Gently press and glide your putty knife along the edge until smooth. Try not to drag the putty as it will lose its smooth texture. Watch for the sight lines so the exterior putty matches interior frame and leave at least 1 16th to 1 8th of room for when you paint. Remember, you will be painting onto the glass immediately with linseed oil paint. Work to create nice, sharp corners with your putty knife. Mix paint well and mix before each use. The natural pigment can settle at the bottom of the can. A kitchen stick mixer works very well to create an ideal paint consistency. Paint immediately and paint at least 1 16th to 1 8th onto the glass. This is one major factor that allows for long lasting results with the Dana linseed oil putty. Apply thin coats. If too much paint is applied, the surface could wrinkle or alligator. Paint evenly. Avoid pooling in corners. Brush or wipe on paint. Apply three thin coats for best results, especially if second coat is sinking into dry wood unevenly or looks patchy. Needs more paint. Wood is definitely dry. Trim paint back once dry if needed. Be sure to let Viking linseed oil paint dry completely before trimming as paint could smear, ruining the work you may have already done. Use a sharp glass scraper. It is possible to use a spackle to scrape or cut against for a nice straight line. It is also possible to apply some soapy water to the glass it allows the blade to glide a little more smoothly. Clean hands and brushes with linseed oil soap. Clean glass with a non-petrochemical glass cleaner. Here is the stunning end result of this full wood window restoration. 
Maintain by cleaning to remove any dirt or air pollution buildup before brushing or wiping on Viking purified raw linseed oil to nourish dry wood and pigment over time. Apply another coat of Viking linseed oil paint when needed for added protection. This process protects and nourishes the wood. It also creates a flexible, long-lasting glazing putty and paint combination that can withstand changes in temperature and the harsh exposure to the elements. Thanks for joining us. For more information and to order product, visit www.earthandflax.com and email me your questions.